So, another day in the nurseries. In the last few days I've been able to go and see Lee at the uh, bungalow. I'm going to be a bit grounded today, I've got uh, a lot here. I'm not really going to be able to get off, off site unless it was tonight. And now I've got a mower. Big priority, huge priority is I want to get the entire touring area cut today. As what I still got a couple of waterlogged pitches, which isn't good. Um, so all being well, we're gonna have no dramas with that. And the weather's gone chilly. It's uh, boy, it's uh, chilled off. I'm talking about all sorts for Easter um, with cold weather and up in Scotland apparently snow. But we have actually been out camping at Easter in snow. Uh, yeah. So grey, but dry, and that helps a lot. Right, office first, and then, um, yeah, busy day ahead. I'm about to get my woolly hat back, won't I? Well, there is one good thing. I'm gonna put some arabos in my pocket and do a little bit of nibbling. Right, it's already turning out to be one of them days. It's complex. Right now, and that little swan gliding over the lake, looking very elegant and very, very calm. Incredibly calm, incredibly elegant. But well, bloody hell, I'm paddling away under, under, underneath that water. Um, absolutely chaotic. Right, this grass I was hoping would blow off. So the water on the grass would blow off by now, it's not. And I've cleaned the facilities a little bit earlier than normal. Because uh, I've got quite a few on this afternoon. And I need to start grass cutting. Um, and if I close the place today, I want to have all the touring area. Apart from the camping pitches on the island, cut uh, and just hope our lone lawnmower doesn't give any hassle. All right, let's fill it up with petrol. Fortunately, I got petrol the other week, didn't I? Let's do that. And allegedly, allegedly, that didn't sound good, did it? Four days without rain. So those who have been watching these vlogs for a while will know about the white posts. So we, we, we didn't used to have them there when I came. And we'd have people driving here. And because we've got an Elton point up at the corner here, people were literally driving the cars up to the Elton point. But what they were also doing was driving over here, and especially that one there, and there's a septic tank. So one day one of the um, the lid was off. That's why we got the cone on there. Anyway, it's looking a bit neater, isn't it? Uh, so the deck is quite high on this this cut at the moment. And there's a duct that's here. So I'm, I'm keeping it on the high side. Get this first cut done. And as I say, allegedly, we've got four days of um, dryness. So the next cut, if I've still got this mower, we'll lower it down and it'll be it'll look even better than what it's going to look um, by close of play today. Right, so far, so far. I think every campsite warden will tell you that it's not that we're ranting about when people haven't departed by departure time. It's not that we, we're we being grumpy. Like our departure time here is 11 o'clock. I know I've mentioned this numerous times. And the reason we want everybody to be off by 11 is that the campsite Warden or Wardens have only got a very small pocket of time, maybe a couple of hours, to clean the facilities, to do a litter pig, <coughs> to 
you've got any hedging, if you've got any lawn mowing, etc, etc. So it's not when we're moaning that people haven't gone by 11, it's, it's pretty rude if I'm honest, that, that, unless there's an explanation for it, because there is a lot that needs to be done on campsite. So, yeah, so I had somebody the other day who just absolutely took the mickey, um, and it's super annoying. It's always quite sweet here, I don't know if you saw there then. <coughs> I often have the two pigeons sat there just watching me. Looking pretty, all the daffodils and the blossom coming out. We've got, we've got progress. And a Husqvarna. That's not mine, but it's working. Right, lots of... So the lake, it's still a lake. I don't know if you can see how many seagulls are over there, there must be hundreds of them swimming in it, but he is now dried out, um, so this field last year had rape in it, <coughs> again if you were watching last year you'll know what I'm on about, and the, uh, the rape failed, and whatever's been planted this year, <coughs> hasn't done so well has it? Why I'm making progress. Steady, steady progress. And the load Hoskavana hasn't let me down so far. So I'm giving my own pitch a long head cut. So as I say, I'm going to get this one done today. And then the blades need to come down. Let's wind blow off this uh, grass. Um, but my gate worked, look at that there. Happy days. Progress, and I'm going to give myself a break in a minute to turn this off. Oh, bit of sign I am going to go and get a cup of coffee. Um, as you're watching this, I keep saying this, I think I am six or seven days behind. And I've got some thank yous to do now that came in six or seven days ago. So... I'm sorry for the bit of a delay on things. So I need to thank Kevin Parrish, um, who sent over a super thanks, uh, just as we were getting the keys to move in. Um, Kevin Parrish, boom, cheers buddy. And Aaron, is it Seagren as well, um, about the same time sent over a super thanks. Aaron, appreciate, and also JJ Williams. So, in a few days time in just over a week i don't know how this is going to work so if i'm stuck here on my own it's, it's not going to happen but sandra's up at easter and the super thanks that you've sent that will go towards treating sandra to something with that a takeaway or I'm, I'm not too sure what because i don't know whether i'm going to be able to get off the site or not but also um some people have sent over some coffees so dawn freeman Hello Dawn, hope you're very well, um, thanks ever so much for sending over a coffee, and to Paul Young, Paul, love reading your comments, Paul, if you don't know, if you don't read comments or you can't see the Paul comments virtually um, every day on our vlogs, um, and also to Michael Lutas, Michael, you've sent over another coffee for us as well, and like I was just saying, all of that will go into giving Sandra a bit of a treat, um, a meal out or something when she's over. So thanks ever so much for doing that, everybody. Um, it's very, 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 very kind. Not, not expected and very kind. Right, I'm going to get the mower back on. And I'm going to go and give myself a sit down. Uh, I've got probably another hour of mowing and the outer pitches are all there. Uh, are all done and the lone Husqvarna is doing a good job I'm really looking forward to this, to an after rather than the before so those I've been watching over winter we're coming to the end of the line to what's going on here now um, and See, this road is just gone it's all going to be skimmed over and um, dug out and redressed and surfaced 
do believe because we're in for a bit of a spell of dry weather uh, going into next week which will be the run up to Easter um, all the soil the loose soil has got to be rotated over and then um, seed it up and once the road's all dressed down here everything will look a mile better so at the moment you can't imagine it can you um, it's just still going on and then somehow I've got to figure out and let me have the Husqvarna to cut this grass when this grass seed comes I just need a bit of seed here so as I mentioned um, Killer Dave got on to me about these this was um, moles that, that had been a problem so the Husqvarna you can't get up um, steep curbs or anything so I used to come down here it's hard to imagine this isn't it this used to there used to be three three beautiful camping pitches here and here and here absolutely gorgeous pitches um, but I guess I'll just have to get a couple of ramps oh there's a sycamores are coming up um, there's a sycamore tree somewhere anyway it's progress isn't it right let's get another hour on the mower and get some food Good afternoon, no, it's a good afternoon. Uh, right, so that's outside the cottage. Done, the grass verge, the run down into the site. And all the outer pitches on touring complete. So into this lot of grass. And I'm going to go and have to eat. I am absolutely starving. Uh, and I'm ready for this afternoon's arrivals. So, no pork pie today. I'm powered by a cheeseburger. A quarter pound of cheeseburger. And golly, I am so hungry. Really, really, really hungry. Um, right. And a few things to do while I'm in the office for half an hour. Right. Caught up. Oh, postman's been. Hang on a minute. What have I got? Oh. I was going to jump back on the mower. Let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, didn't even see the postman come. Let's have a look. So, two cards. Um... I've got Mr. and Mrs. N. Taylor and Russia. Oh, should we do that one first? Let's have a look. If ever I'm sat here, I'll do this, by the way. Like that. So if you've never been here before, there's the uh, there's our entrance. So I'm always just keeping an eye on the barrier. So in a minute when I get out and... Um, oh, just try and level, level the camera up do some mowing i'm sort of going in a circle so i can just keep an eye on that barrier right what have we got here uh new home new home is a noun oh, sorry i am once doing a haribo a cozy new place for you to call your own see also new digs new pads somewhere new to hang on your hat and inside congratulations for neil and sandra in russia all the best in your new home Love Lisa Evans. Oh, blind it's Lisa X Dolbrin. Sorry, Lisa. Um, right, I'll I'll photograph that Lisa and tag you on Facebook. Um, what a pleasant surprise. So, Lisa, those that don't know, uh, I worked. Was it four years ago now? I can't remember now. Um, in West Wales, a campsite called Dolbrin. Beautiful campsite, real rural location. Um, and Lisa was sort of, I don't know, what Lisa, what, 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 I don't know what your title was, but you sort of lived at the campsite and you, you did a bit of everything, didn't you? Sort of cleaning and everything. And um, we worked in the bar together. So I was pouring drinks and Lisa was serving and everything like that. That was very, 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 very uh, unexpected. Um, and you'll, you'll obviously remember Russia 
So thank you, Lisa. Um, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Because obviously people who I've worked with in the past can sort of follow my trail of where I've been and things. And I've got a home sweet home card. And inside, congratulations, wishing you lots of happiness in your new home to Neil, Sandra, Lee, Barbara, Russia the dog. Hope you all the best and happiness in your new home in Lincolnshire from Keith and Kate in Prestatyn in North Wales. We spent a lot of time in Prestatyn. I absolutely love the beach of Prestatyn. It's um, it's like it used to only be an hour or so ago from um, from our home in Manchester. And when the kids were little, if we weren't camping and, and I'd got time, I, I wasn't busy. When it got to 20 degrees, in other words, 70 degrees, I used to always say to the kids, it's a beach day. And um, quite often we would trek over to Prestatyn Beach um, because obviously you can park right by it. It's, it's a beautiful sandy beach and it's pretty safe and everything. We've got loads of videos on my own personal channel of... Um, of time at um, Prestatyn. Well, it's a Frith Park, isn't it? Um, sort of up from Prestatyn going towards Rill. Um, you know, I stayed there a couple of times as well in really good weather. But yeah, lovely part of the country, North Wales. I won't get in, <laughs> I won't have a rant about Wales. Um, but obviously, because I worked in Wales, I learned a lot that I didn't realise about politics in in Wales and Drippy Drayford, I know he's now resigned or stood down since yesterday, day before yesterday, but I'm sorry, the Welsh government, I, I possibly would have actually retired to North Wales because I, I love the area, but the pol the politics and policies is is outrageous. You your minimum price of your alcohol, you your stupid twenty miles an hour limits that that are being forced upon you um the way the budget has been i'm not going to go on about it because the labor but they are labor um has been mismanaged it's absolute chaos um and that's not going to go the welsh the welsh people whether you come from north wales mid wales south wales west wales are absolutely amazing but unfortunately the entire way your your country is being run at the moment um yeah, it's shocking. And unfortunately, it's going to stay that way because you can put a, a certain colour badge on a certain coloured pig and people will vote for that certain colour. And until change happens, yeah, very messy. Right, enough of that. But I love press that in. Absolutely love press that in. Right, so that's a, what we call it? A proper full touring area grass court. At the minute, I've got three pitches which are unusable and a week till Easter and the rain's come down I'm going to put a raincoat on uh, the site always looks so nice when it's had a, when it's had a grass cut I'm hoping they have to tomorrow Dry, we can give it another cut, bring the deck down and get it even, uh, even better to what it should be. So I'm going to head over to my, sorry, I'm going to head, head to the grass box, clean the shoes, go put, go and get myself a raincoat on. Uh, uh. Please to say that Paul the mower man's Husqvarna has enabled me to do this year's first proper, proper, proper grass cut um, on the seasonal area. I did do, sorry, on the touring area, I did do the seasonal area two and a half weeks ago, so that does need retackling. Um, ah, yeah, right, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm covered in grass and soil and get myself a drink and a sit down, I think. That leaf it looks a lot better, doesn't it? My, right, my mower is back. <laughs> Can't believe this, but at least I've got a grass cut done. Hang on, let's one mower out and one mower in. Oh, 
Right, we've got a little problem with the grass box now we're going to try and fix. It's a mower drama day, always a drama at the nursery. Oh, another drama, we've just had electric dramas, um, <laughs> which would, would appear to be resolved. It stopped raining, I didn't end up putting a, a waterproof coat on the end, oh, and back on the original husky so let's see whether this this is working and now we had a problem with the grass box it looked like the bracket had been bashed um, right so in short the starter boat has got four magnets on and one of the magnets had got loose and had shattered on the starter with spins so I have now got a part number and all being well, this will last tomorrow I'm going to go on the hunt for a spare starter motor. But everything seems, would appear, to be okay. I've just had pitches number 8, 9 and these couple of pitches without electric. Right, now we're back in the air shed. Right, I've got a hot tub to look at next and the sun's going down. So I think I'll wrap the video off here, today's vlog off here. And all you've had today is a lot of grass before your very eyes. And if you're a fellow warden, as I know some of the wardens watch the channel, have you managed to do your first proper grass cut yet? So if you're watching this, it'll be a week later and all being well, the weather will have improved. Right, hot tub time. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.